What's up guys, it's Living Survival, and today we got another stove review for you. This time we got the Bushcraft Essentials Bush Box XL, so stick with me. Alright guys, so I've shown you several stoves from Bushcraft Essentials. This is their micro stove. Pretty cool little stove, you can see how small it is. You can use organic material or you can put a tea light in there and you can use a small cup. Heat up some water for coffee or tea or something like that. Pretty cool little stove. They also make the ultralight stove, which I've shown before, and that works great with uh, like a 600 or 700 milliliter pot. About perfect for that. It's super lightweight and it packs down super flat, so it's really good for ultralight kits. Then they have their bush box, their regular bush box, which again is good for 600 to 700 milliliter pots and cups. A great little stove. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's definitely pretty rugged and heavy duty. Great little stove for uh, get home bags or bug out bags. So to use a bigger pot, I'm going to use a bigger stove. And this is Bushcraft Essentials largest stove, the Bush Box XL. So it comes in this nice Cordura uh, case. It does have a uh, D-ring at the top so that you could hang it. And pop this open here in the front. We have a uh, grill plate that can go on the top. So with the Bushbox XL you get a super slim package. It does have some weight to it but it's uh, heavy duty stainless steel. So that's great. You get the two trivets that click right in here to the sides. And uh, the really awesome thing about this is that you just simply open it. And the ash pan falls down into place. And then on top of that the rack for the biomaterials, wood or charcoal, whatever you're going to be using, falls down on that. And that's it. That's how that thing goes together. So it's just uh, super easy. You can fold it right back up just like that when you're done using it. And again, when you pop it open, the two pieces just fold right down and you're ready to go. Super easy, super quick, super awesome in my opinion. And then if you wanted to, you could pop this grill plate right on the top here it just clicks into the holes there and you have a little surface for grilling but today we're just going to use the trivets and these trivets will actually go in multiple different locations you can put uh, they have all sorts of you know ridges and holes and things like that that you can put these things in a ton of different configurations and uh, we're just going to use the configuration that will work best for my 1600 milliliter Tox pot. All right, so I'm just going to load this thing up with some bigger material in the bottom there. Then on top of that, I'm going to throw bunch of smaller stuff then I'm gonna light up a wet fire just happens to be what I have today and uh, pop that down on there Move that thing more towards the center. Get some of this wood going here. All right, you guys can see I got a beautiful fire going here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some water to boil for some noodles. I'm going to throw the top on that as well so it boils quicker. Been wanting to uh, use this 1600 milliliter pot so 
definitely works awesome with the uh, Bush Box XL. And as you can see, we got a roaring fire there, nice and hot, very easy to light up, burning great, and it's very stable. As you can see, guys, we're getting some great embers forming down there. And uh, this nice large opening allows you to just set wood in the side like that as it burns down and keep it fed. It's really nice to have this larger opening here instead of the smaller opening on some stoves. Really helps keep the heat up and keep it, uh, you know, aerated. And uh, even with this pot being so close to the top, it's burning just fine. And actually guys, we already have a boil. I mean, that was insane. That was uh, under four minutes. And uh, that's insane. That was under four minutes with about 35 to 40 ounces of water in there. So uh, impressive. Definitely can keep the heat super high on the uh, Bush Box XL. And boil water quickly and a lot of water. So I had some noodles here that I had bent or broken in half earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw those in. And even with the top off and uh, putting those noodles in, you could see how fast they came right back to a boil there. So I'm not going to feed any more wood in there, just going to let this uh, let these noodles cook. And um, if you get it where it's uh, foaming up like that, you can just blow on it. So far, I'm in love with this setup. The uh, Bush Box XL and the 1600 milliliter pot is working fantastic. You can see that there's still a lot of hot embers down in there, and uh, you know we're st we still have a boil, so there's no need to add any new wood. All right, so it's been about five or six minutes, and these noodles are pretty soft. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave them in the water in the hot water so they'll continue to get a little softer but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do up the meat And as you can see, it maintains such a high heat down in there that even this bigger stuff just lights up right away. Fantastic. I'm going to throw the uh, top half of the pot on there. I'm going to throw some olive oil in there. throw in the meat and I'm going to do about half a pound. Don't want it to get super hot. My fire is back going very easily. And this is some lean meat, so.
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drain my water out because I'm going to use that, uh, I'm going to use this as the pot to mix everything in. Alright, so that meat's pretty well done. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it in with the noodles. That'll keep them nice and hot. And I'm going to go ahead and fry up the other half a pound. Add just one more piece of wood there. Get our temperature back up just a little bit. I've had to use very little wood. Every now and then I just add a chunk about that size and just throw it in, but obviously it's hot enough now and I actually want it to die down a little bit because I'm going to be doing my sauce pretty soon. All right, so my second half pound is pretty well done now. I'm just going to add that on top of the noodles as well. And I'm just going to quickly heat up some sauce. Really shouldn't have to add any more heat. It should just cook on a nice low heat. Just simmer it a little bit, just warm it up. Just gonna add one more piece of wood there and uh, get a little bit hotter but I really just want this to simmer just trying to heat the sauce is all all right so my sauce is just about done here it's nice and warm and cook it on a low heat and just simmer it last thing you want to do is have it bubble up and go all over the place so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add that to my meat meat and my noodles And I'm going to go ahead and rinse out this pot and I'm going to use it as a plate. Once I've rinsed it out, I can just use my schmog to clean it. Stir the noodles and the meat and the sauce all together here. Doesn't that look good? Looks good to me because I'm starving. So once that's stirred up, I'm just going to put a little bit into my the pot lid here. And there you go. Spaghetti on the Bush Box XL. You can see here that there's literally no ash left. I mean, it's really broken down really well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take these trivets off. I'm just going to flip the whole stove over. Let that cool down for a couple minutes. So once it's cooled down to the touch, what's nice is all the dirty stuff stays on the inside. So you can just flip up the, uh, the panel here and uh, flip up your ash pan. And then the whole thing just folds down just like that. 
and it's relatively clean on the outside. You just take your trivets snap those back into place. So then once you folded it up and put your trivets in you can just slide it right back into the Cordura case and that keeps it nice and clean on the outside so you can slip it right into your pack without getting your pack dirty. Alright guys so I'm pretty impressed with the Bush Box XL. Not only is it a sturdy stainless steel construction but it works perfectly with that Toke 1600 milliliter pot and pan. So never had one issue. It stayed hot the entire time. I barely had to feed it any wood. It's very efficient. It, the ashes burn down to next to nothing. It's extremely easy to set up, extremely easy to take down. And uh, like I said, you can put it right back in the case so you don't get your pack dirty or anything like that. Uh, it worked beautifully. And uh, definitely by far one of my favorite stoves to date and uh, definitely be making this a part of one of my packs for sure. It's not the lightest, but uh, definitely if you want to cook using bigger pots and pans and things like that, it boiled that water so quick and that was a lot of water. It was a lot more than just your standard two cups. It was so uh, definitely a thumbs up for the Bush Box XL. Definitely gonna make this a part of one of my packs and I recommend you guys check this out for sure. If you want to see my videos on the other Bush Bushcraft Essentials uh, stoves, you can do so. I have all their other stoves and I've put them in another video, so go back and take a look at that if you want. Make sure you check out WorldWideSurvival.com. It's an online community of survivalists just like me and a great bunch of people there, so join the discussion there. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh, share it across all your social media, Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and Instagram. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.